is Titty Gets Active. Well, but welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of it's not repotting, just actually just potting. I have a few props today, three props, and I think we're only gonna repot two. I don't know. I'm gonna see who has like enough of established roots so I can like repot them. And at the same time, we're just going to chat a little bit because since 2022 started, shit's been hectic, okay? So, let's just get right into it. If you hear background noise, it's my cat. Fast forward, so back to my cat story. Uh, okay, so Mackie ate my Dracaena when I didn't know. And long story short... We called the, I called the vet, emergency vet. They told me, you know, everything's on hold. We can't take no walk-ins right now. Called the poisoning pet, pet people. She's like, it's going to be around $60. I said, no problem. Cheaper than a vet bill. Called the poison pet people. And um, they're located in the state. So I was like, oh, sorry. I think I got the wrong number. So I'm calling from Canada. And they said, no, this is the correct number. We're in the States, but we help Canadians. Also, it was 75 USD, which is like $100 Canadian. And I'm waiting. I gave them the information. So then I wait. She replies to me telling me that basically my cat is fine. He, you, you know how they love to say bring him to the vet just to be safe. But she's like, my cat is fine. Justina's don't kill. As long as he pukes the piece out, he'll be fine. He's constantly puking because it's irritating his stomach and it's still in there. It's too late to induce vomiting. So you can just wait a few days in the house and make sure his energy and stuff stays up so he doesn't get dehydrated. Cool. You know, she told me the exact thing that our Google research did. Anyways, Mackie is fine. He's full and healthy. You guys see him on my Instagram stories. He's chilling. Oh, sorry. So we're going to be repotting my Swiss cheese plant. For Hold on. This guy is long for no reason. We'll just snap you right here. And let's see if... I can probably fill him back in here, actually. See if he'll... My pearl plant died, which makes me really sad. Guys, it was, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, it was holding on by a thread. I was really trying to make it happen, really trying to save her, but she said, girl, I cannot do this no more. But honestly, it's like a pretty cheap plant, so I'm definitely just gonna buy myself another one. Sorry, y'all, I'm confused, because... Never mind. There's like small roots growing here. You guys can't see it. I don't want to get up. The succulents need more water than you would think. Not even trying to be funny. Succulents need way more water than I would ever imagine that I thought. This guy has a lot of roots. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm going to wait till summer to buy me another one. And then we'll just try it again. Because it's such a beautiful plant. And I will not accept that I cannot take care of that plant. <laughs> I just can't. I don't know if it's just me or has everyone been dealing with thrips this winter. This was my first winter dealing like with thrip thrips, like constantly having to maintain them. They came hard this winter. I never had a whole crazy infestation, thank goodness. Thank the Lord. But they were still like, girl, like... <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me. They were everywhere else. Especially my Monstera. They were loving my Monstera. I had a few with my Tetra. They were definitely going all over my Tetra, but I, it's way better now. I've been seeing it all over, even like on Instagram and stuff like that. Like the reels, like everyone is giving thrip advice. I mean, it could have been my algorithm, <laughs> but everyone was giving thrip advice. I was like, yeah, so everyone's dealing with thrips this winter. Interesting. I did the regular thing, just spray them with a bit of insecticide, shower the hell out of my plants, threw them all in my bathtub, spray them with insecticide, and just keep an eye on them constantly. And we've been good. Bugs that only go on leaves don't really scare me that much. Like pests, sorry, that stay on the leaves don't really bother me as much. For me, it's hard when they're in the soil or like in the roots. That's going to be a long... Those are the ones that are hard to get rid of. Root aphids, guys, you guys, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know the battle, the battle I went through with the root aphids, okay? I don't mind dealing with 
the thrifts compared to the root aphids. No spider mites though. I didn't do it. I haven't had spider mites yet, so thank goodness. Okay. We're gonna water it after. We have the little, it's not cute, but <laughs> we have a little cheese plant. And then these guys are just gonna keep trying to reroute. I'll just change the water. Sorry about that. I got really scared thinking they didn't have a pot tall enough for my Tetra. But we're going to be repotting my Tetra next. These are the roots on the homie right here. If y'all can see them. Oh yeah, but I've been liking vermiculite way more than them. Then perlite. I can't find the large chunky perlites. I'm Canadian and specifically I live in Ontario. I can't find them. I heard they're way less dusty because these the small perlites got me feeling like Heisenberg. <laughs> so I made a TikTok account, not like an actual TikTok yet. I made a TikTok account. I made my first Insta reel. That was fun. I really feel old. I feel like an auntie. There's too many options. I don't like a gazillion options. I don't like that. <laughs> guys the real i had more courage to try and make a real first it's a very basic but other than that i made my tiktok and um it's also td gets active same as my youtube and honestly i'm just trying to post more plant content it's really me just enjoying myself which i need to remember that's what i'm trying to do and i'm trying to learn stuff it's always fun to learn new things right this is gonna be pot i started off the year with um i've been battling of getting out a depressive episode so last time when you guys saw me watering my plants that was my first time watering my plants after like a whole month for me plant care is very relaxing um i don't get overwhelmed with my plants not at all because if i don't feel like taking care of them i don't <laughs> you know what i mean like i don't okay i do not force myself to do any plant care or any of that like it's only when i feel good okay so the pot toast doesn't really have that many roots so we're gonna throw this back in there oh yeah and please correct me if you think i'm like rerouting this like pot toast part wrong propagating it wrong because i kept the whole I kept the whole I kept the whole thing. Whoop, sorry. I kept the whole thing so that like I can see how much like nodes would push out the most roots. I do also deal with like mental health and stuff like that. I mean, who doesn't especially since the pandemic? If I'm not in my right place of mind, I don't do plant care. <laughs> I don't force myself. I don't know like whatever happens happens and I'm gonna just when I'm back in my right place of mind, I'm gonna catch up and do what I gotta do. This is the cute little ivies. This is my first time propagating ivy plants. I actually wonder if someone would be intrigued in buying these because I I don't know why they're not that popular. I love ivy plants. But yeah, depression is not a joke. Like, you know, like sh it, it can get hard and stuff. But at the end of the day, I see videos where they're like, you know, there's some people that are... Um, is this pot too small? <laughs> I guess we're using a cup. <laughs> Our old jar. Um, it's the tallest one I have. Everything I have wider pots, but I don't have, you know, like long, like higher pots. Don't be sacrificing your mental health for plants. I'm gonna just say that. I'm not gonna lie. For y'all that be buying nine thousand, ten thousand dollar plants, I don't know that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you want to take my advice unless your wallet is looking as nice like that. Plants are supposed to boost your mood, not destroy it. You know, I see people saying like, I'm so overwhelmed with my plants. Like I've seen videos like that. I'm so overwhelmed with my plants, giving away my plants. I'm like, guys, maybe, maybe one, you have too many plants or maybe you just don't like plants like that. Either or. Either or. But yeah, do not let that get in the way, guys. Whenever you feel like you're back on track and stuff, go back to taking care of your plants. They still gonna be here. None of my plants died. <laughs> None of my plants died. 
Except for my pearl one, but that's been dying for a minute. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and what am I gonna do? I'm gonna buy me another one. Like, move, you know, it's not. Don't do that. Like for real, you're not. You're not a crappier person because your plants are not looking a one all the time. I've heard. Sorry, like some YouTubers complain saying that some of the house plants group can get kind of competitive. The only thing I've seen is people get um kind of like when it comes to naming the plants but i always i always put fair warning i'm gonna mess up some names some botanical names but other than that guys it's not that deep it's really not we're gonna take these beautiful ivies this is the long one this is the one that's causing me problems right now why i can't find the right pot sorry guys you guys gonna see me like up down up down up down okay it's probably a tiktok somewhere saying that this means i have hd <laughs> first i really want to start um terraniums um i blame banshee plant for having me very interested in them i was always in love with like cabinets and stuff when people put their plants high community loving plants and cabinets sort of like art pieces because i see that as art to be honest it's so cool how when you like close the lid you never have to touch it again that's very interesting to me and it's a cute little world and i have a few ideas in mind i really want to do that i think that'd be very cute and if i'm good at it if they come out nicer than I thought they would, I, I don't mind making a few as gifts or like to sell a few, you know. I bought my first ginomis jar. I'm buying the tools little by little because I'm learning as I go. I find that easiest. So whenever I have a little bit of money in my pocket, I just buy like an extra tool. Finding moss. <laughs> I can't find me no moss at all. I want to try doing that whole growing moss where he's like reviving it by rehydrating it and stuff like that i'm a bit scared though when they put the bugs like the isopods and stuff like that i don't i don't know i don't know if i'm ready to be at that level i don't like bugs but i don't know baby steps baby steps i definitely want to do more propagations um what, which plant i want to i'm still waiting um i really want to propagate my monstera but i also want a big monstera so i'm waiting for it to grow a bit more because there's like you guys seen it on Instagram, there's like one arrow root that's just going and going and going. Umbrella tree has a second small tree, so I wanted to propagate that. My philodendron birkin finally has a second um, plant growing, like with the stem and everything. It's so cute. I still have another monster endosiona I'm going to have to repot eventually, but those roots are real taking a lot of time to um, develop. I'm also currently propagating my bro's tail. That's coming in along very well, actually. You guys probably saw it in the plant tour, but even since then, they're they're growing. I can't wait till I can really, really pot them. The issue with me is, for me, is that I don't have any rare or super exotic plants. So, my plants are not really the ones that people are mostly, how do I say, plant collectors, like actual house plant collectors care for, because you can get them anywhere, right? Eventually, I do want to upgrade and because so far all my propagations be doing pretty like they be going doing well i want to eventually maybe you know bump it up and try to buy a bit more uh pricier plants i'm not gonna say expensive i'll say pricier just so they have you know the more aesthetic pleasing ones that more people might be interested by because i'm gonna keep propagating right and i don't want to just keep having propagations all over my house i just don't want the same plant like seven times i'm gonna film my first plant shopping videos so taking you guys with me when i go buy more plants i want to visit because there's not there's not a lot of plant shop videos for the gta area so i would like to do that there's a whole youtuber that opened a shop downtown what's his name crazy plant guy He's from toronto um it was really cool finding like a uh, plant youtubers from the city like film going there you know if he's like comfortable with that or there is one it's not ajax there's another one in toronto i forgot the name it's like toronto borderline and tobiko it's huge they have outdoor options indoor options they're there all year <laughs> during summer they have the summer plants outside during winter they got christmas trees outside you feel me like those type of nurseries and i actually never been to a nursery like that before so that would be very exciting because you know i want to like take my time look at the plants buy some plants like i don't want to go to a plant shop film around and then leave without buying anything for some reason that comes off as checky checky um sketchy like you know like girl what are you doing you i don't want to come off and people thinking you know i'm setting their store up or whatever so i would really want to support the store at the same time Especially when most nurseries are 
independent. Like, they're normally family businesses. This is the final thing. I forgot if I showed y'all or not. Guys, so I saw this thing, especially for succulents. So you guys know that I have a little bouquet of snake plants, right? It's my first little bouquet I made. Or plant arrangement, whatever, whichever terminology you prefer. I want to do more, but I want to do with like succulents. I want to do with succulents this time. So I want to buy a few succulents and do a little succulent arrangement. But what I've seen for the succulent ones or the cacti one is that the roots never go deep, right? So basically people use it like on, uh, use serving dishes or like shallower type of bowls or plates as pots. I find it beautiful when they top it off with rocks or you know put a little gnome on the side i find that very cute so i wanted to do that as a project also and i don't know i really like arrangements i want to practice a bit more arranging um plants together i want to do i want to learn that those type of techniques but like with plants you know so know which type of plants look better together do you want a desert vibe do you want a jungle vibe what kind of jungle vibe do you want do you want like a regular jungle do you want a rainforest vibe do you just want a forest vibe do you want like a tree vibe you know thank you so much for watching this regular like nothing special chatty houseplant propagation repotting i don't know why i'm gonna title this but thank you <laughs> Don't forget, I don't want to say these are just plants, but these are just plants. You know, um, you can replace plants, but you can't replace yourself.